the sign test for paired samples. So out of the three paired hypothesis tests, we're doing this one. Some basic notes on the sign test. For the method, write down H0 and H1 in terms of the population median difference. So either using this Greek letter or we can write it out in words. So population median difference. You must mention the word population if you use the worded form of the hypothesis. And then H1 could be the population median difference is less than zero, greater than zero, one-tailed test, or not equal to zero, a two-tailed test. Work out the signs. Cross out any zero differences. So there are six plus signs and three minuses. The smaller out of these two becomes your test statistic. So three is the TS value. Then we go to the binomial tables. 6 plus 3 is 9. So we're not using 10 that we had here. There are 10 signs here. We're not using those. We crossed one out, so we're using 9. This value is always 0 0.5. When we're testing medians, there's a 50% chance a value is less than the median, 50% chance it's above the median. This is always 0 0.5. It's got nothing to do with the significance level and then you work out the probability of x less than or equal to your test statistic. So in this case we would do px less than or equal to 3, look up the probability from the binomial tables and compare it to the significance level probability. For a two-tailed test you have to split the significance level. So if you had a 10% significance level two-tailed test you're comparing your probability here that you've looked up from the tables with 0.05. You've split the 10%. Only do that for a two-tailed test. And if the probability that you've looked up is less than your significance level probability, then you reject H0. If the probability you've looked up is more than your significance level probability, then you accept H0. And the following two examples will demonstrate this. Example 1, we've got nine pairs of data values. So these values are in pairs, that's another pair, and so on. There's a 10% significance level. Investigate whether there is any difference. That's a two-tailed test, so we need to split the significance level into 5% and 5%. So H0 and H1 using the population median difference. We've got our signs. 7 plus is 2 minuses, so 2 is our test statistic, the smaller, the smaller value. 7 plus 2 is 9, so n is 9. This is always 0 0.5. We go to the binomial tables, we look up px less than or equal to the test statistic 2 which gives us a probability which is greater than 0 0.05 so we accept H0 and there was a part B moving on to the next example carry out a sign test. Again these are paired values paired values using a 5% level of significance and we're looking for an increase a one-tailed test. So H0, H1 we're looking for an increase. The zero difference here we need to ignore, cross it out 
6 plus is 3 minus is 3 is the test statistic. 6 plus 3 is 9. This is always 0 0.5. We go to this binomial table and we look up px less than or equal to our test value, 3. And we get this probability, which is more than our significance level probability, 0 0.05. So we're going to accept h naught and a conclusion in context.